this is the logo for the charity I set up in 2016. Then I looked around and got in touch with my friends and asked them would they join me because I couldn't do this on my own and we formed a great team who worked well together. We decided that we would work in Kalingpong. Here you see the map and it is in northeast India. We needed classrooms and we found them in this school owned by Andrew and Manju Lal and they look after the place while we're away. Of course none of this work would have been possible without your wonderful support. We have our family support, we have our neighbours, our friends and our colleagues and some people who we've never met but you all generously give to us. This year has been a difficult year with COVID-19 and we the trustees decided we wanted to do something specially for you. So this doesn't come out of the money you send to us, this is what we're doing for you as a thank you. That's this video. We hope that you'll be able to play it on Christmas Day. Christmas 2020 will not be the same. But when you see the faces of these little children laughing, playing, it will bring you, I hope, the happiness and joy that it brings to us. Thank you so much for all your support. Our school bus has arrived. This was very kindly donated to us by a lady last year who wishes to remain anonymous. Thank you very much. The children who live nearby are brought by their mothers. Brian then closes the gate so that the compound is secure. These have come from some distance. Little girls and little boys starting at the age of two and a half and up to five. Look at the ginormous rucksack. It's fascinating to see the cameraman. And also they're not sure what's happening. Although they do know it's a party day today. So you see their, their reactions are very different to what they normally are. Now we're going to get them back to the classroom. Look how slowly they come along. Even up the steps, normally they leap up those like little mountain goats. Today, the two and a half to three and a half year olds will be learning star. A large poster is used and each child has a small replica which they will colour in themselves. They will then apply glue to the back and they will go and post it on the big poster which then goes on the wall. Sharda's handing out the yellow pens and you can see some of the children are not doing anything at the moment but we have to remember they've not been in school very long and they've never had pencils and pens before. This little child seems to be doing very well. Really got ahead there, making a grand job. So they're learning S, they're learning the shape of the star and they're learning the colour yellow. Now some of them pat them on as you can see that child doing. And here comes another one. Let's see how he does his. Oh, he did his very quick and easily. This is Alan with his crown. We're making crowns today. Here's Sharia. And it's Shivam, his little boy, although he's got long hair. Now look at the delight when they place the crowns on. This is Annie, Rael and Shivam and they're going to take their crowns home to show mum and dad. Today Annie's made a butterfly. The boy's busy making bees. We use pom-poms and various things and they have painting sessions. This is Rael and here we have Ditchin.
Now we're trying to get the younger children to go into the other half of their classroom, which is ready for them to just do their singing, dancing and acting in. More space, no tables, no chairs. Let's see what they're going to do. One, two, three, start. Mommy. Now this lady is bringing their midday snack. They learn to have manners, to sit properly at the table and eat their food. Afterwards they wash and dry their faces. We try to make them as independent as possible. This is their favourite meal, kitchery. And they like egg as well of course. And bananas are favourites. This is Aaron and he's having a one-to-one -one lesson. They all learn to write words and numbers in their exercise books. They take these home and we try to encourage the mothers to help them. That's a numbers book there. Some of them do the homework, some don't. That's their egg poster. And here we are today, we're going to peel and cut and eat our egg. And then we're going to talk about it in our exercise book. And we're going to stick our egg in. Then we go on to do some drawing. These are our whiteboards. Another exercise book there. And again, the children are helped so that they get it right. Hold the pen correctly. And we use magnetic boards as well. And then the children work it with the alphabet on the wall. Now, your favourite, you're going to have a little sing song. Be the beat of the rabbit. Be the beat of the rabbit. Be the beat of the rabbit. He flips in a few away. Now, which one? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
This is our very small sand pit that we have on the veranda. The children love it. They play with Lego a lot and see how well they share together with their toys, with all the things we take out for them. They play quite happily. There's only one toy that they fight about and you're about to see that in a minute. It's a green colored thing that you ride, this one. They all fight over that one. But in the park outside in our play area, they have their swings and they have their slides and they go out there for half an hour. They all enjoy that. This little girl is enjoying the climbing frame. Look at her cute little face. There's always a demand for the slide here we have Simeon and Shivan coming down. Manisha and Alicia and Shivani, they like to play together. Oh, there goes Alicia jumping down. Jingle, 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 how I wonder what you Others have arrived and they're going to be showing their children to the doctor who we've called in to examine them. They'll be thoroughly checked and if the parents have any worries they can discuss it with the doctor. There's two doctors, Dr Sunil Singh and his wife Indira. They're both qualified and they do it for us voluntarily. Reports are made out, they keep a report and we have a report for the school. It just ensures that everything's fine with the children. Today we had some very good news and the good news is that one of our first pupils that started here in Happy Days in 2017, <coughs> completing three years with us, has taken the verbal and written exam <laughs> for St Augustine School here in Callinghorn and he has got it. Alan, where are you? Alan? Alan? Stand up. Alan. There's your name. Hi. Yeah. Oh. And it says that you've finished your time here. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to give we're going to give three cheers for Alan. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Well done, Alan. Thank you. Look, this is your name, isn't it? This is for you because you've been to our school and worked hard, haven't you? You're a clever boy. <laughs> Come on, Annie. What is this? This is a certificate. You say certificate. Certificate. It's a big word, isn't it? And this sun. And this arrow. What is this? Snake. Ooh, snake. You've done very, very well. Well done. Now.
This is Corinna in the garden when we have our annual fundraising party and this is Jenny. Together they formed the Woman's Empowerment. Here in this room we have Manju Lal and Corinna and the mums. The mums work to produce money for their children and themselves. These are the bags that they make. You can see all different kinds of stitching and also this which you can use to pin on your coat or on a hairband. Here we have the mums all in the compound if it's a nice day and they sit and they do their work on their bags. Here we have our knitters, a great team. Dinah, Grace, Mary and Irene make hats, mittens and scarves and Janet together with Margaret, knit jumpers. Margaret also knits animals and Louise crochets animals. Here are some of Margaret's knitted animals. Alan has been given a number that he has to match with a corresponding jumper, knittens and hat. Here he is with Alicia. They've got on their mittens. Alicia's got her hat. This is Shivam, he's got his jumper, mittens and hat on. Now this is the group of the children where they've all got hats and striped jumpers on. In class today they're learning about Old MacDonald and all the animals on the farm. These are the ones that Louise has crocheted for us and this is Alicia with the duck. Here we have Shivam, he's holding the giraffe and the penguin. And Diksha is clutching the lamb and the leopard made by Margaret. Here we have Sh Shiva. She's holding a knitted ant made by Margaret. The children are learning all about animals today. 
Okay. Talking of animals, this is Ursula and Tony who brought all these wonderful soft toys to us. And guess what? Here are some of them. The children absolutely adored them. And can you notice that they're wearing their little jumpers as well? And their hats. I think they've removed their mittens. But look, are they bright and colourful? I think that these toys, jumpers, hats, scarves and mittens have made their day.